Hello, it is around 10 p.m. on June 16, 2019, and we're going to do something a little different today. Uh, we're going to do something, I want to create a new type of weather update, and it's going to be called a climate update. This is where we talk a little, little this won't be, I won't be doing these every day, we'll be doing these once in a while. Uh, talking about the conditions across the whole planet, um, and not just in our area, but across the whole planet. And uh, some very worrying things are happening particularly in the Arctic and the northern regions. Now, you'll notice, what is all this warm air over here? Why do we have so much warm air up? This is up near Yellowknife in Alaska, in, in Siberia, 80 degrees. So let's take a and, and this is as of current time right now. All right, so let's take a look at some of this. We're going to zoom in here and show you some of the warmth going on here. So this is way up in Yellowknife. We have temperatures... 85 86 degrees in the hot in 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 almost in almost go reaching up into the arctic here all right this is crazy crazy let's see if there's high humidity with that too all right there is not well there is some high humidity look we have some high for this latitude the humidity should not be this high no that's very unusual that's extremely unusual. So there's some really concerning things going on here in the Arctic. And it's not just over here. We have the heat. We also have the heat in Alaska, too. Temperatures in the 70s, which is warm for them. All right. And you can see over here, it looks like there's a, a sea breeze <laughs> coming off the ocean here, which is crazy. And then we go into Siberia, these northern parts of Russia where temperatures in the 80s, in the 80s. It's never supposed to get this hot in Siberia. That's ridiculous. This is not normal at all. This is not normal at all. 84, I mean, there are parts of the world, that, and, and this is going to melt the permafrost. This is what's going on. We're seeing a lot of melting of the permafrost. It's happening very rapidly. And when that happens, that's going to release more methane into the air, which is an even more potent greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide. So you're seeing runaway climate change right before your eyes here. Climate change. I should really call it a climate crisis because that's what, it, that's what we're in right now. All right. Uh, let's look at some of these dew points up here and see uh, what they are up in Siberia. Yeah, kind of humid. Imagine muggy weather in Siberia. Something is seriously wrong here. Something is very wrong here. Uh, and um, and it gets worse in the tropics, too. There are areas... We have a cyclone over here. Vayu, it's called. So we have a cyclone over here that looks like it's getting ready to... I think this is Pakistan? I think so. Let's take a look at some of these wind speeds around this thing. So you have some sustained 40, 50, uh, this is kilometers an hour. we got to change this settings to miles per hour. All right. There. All right, so winds around this doesn't look too strong. 34, 35 miles per hour. What about the gusts, though? Gusts could be a little higher. 44, so this isn't a too impressive of a storm. Um... But still, it's it's over very warm water. We're going to look at those water temperatures too. So let's look at some of these conditions that are, are right now going across temperatures in the 80s. But let's look at the dew points because that's you have some really extreme humidity in this part of the world. I'm going to show you that too in this update. So let's see. Oh, these are dew points. All right, so I have the dew points setting. This is the dew point. You have dew points. You have 80 degree dew points in some of these areas. That is insane. Close to 80 degree dew points. India is really suffering with this. And they've had a lot of extreme heat and humidity in India. 82 degree dew point. We're looking at dew point temperatures here. 82. So this is really unusual because you have this really warm, really warm water. And that's coupled with temperatures in the 90s. So, downright disgusting in this part of the world, uh, what they are dealing with. And these are very poor areas. A lot of people don't have air conditioning, and a lot of people are going to die from this heat. All right? So, this is something to really be concerned about. And let me overlay the radar, too, because um, 
I know there was some severe weather, I think, in Switzerland. I think this is uh, earlier today. Let me uh, move this back. Yeah, there was uh, some severe weather, too, because, again, probably... I don't know if this is Switzerland. Not sure where this is. I think it's... Whatever, it's in Eastern Europe. Uh, and you can see some really... Um, severe looking storms here and let, let's take a look and see why we have such severe storms what are the temperatures uh 80 degrees what about those dew points i bet you that's why these storms are firing up let's see yeah it's humid you have areas in switzerland that are experiencing humidity which are not supposed to look at these high dew points all over europe it's not supposed to ever be this humid here this is not normal and again this is all due to the climate emergency we are in and it's all due to the jet stream. So actually, we're going to pull this out almost the whole way here, um, or a good part of the way here. Um, and this, this shows you all the humidity, and you can get an idea of how wavy the jet stream is, because that's what we're going to be looking at next. Let's take a look at that jet stream. It's a mess. Look at this. Just look at this. Look at this huge ridge here. This is going, this is taking tropical air up way into the Arctic. Way into the Arctic. And this is going to melt a lot of ice. This is going to melt a lot of ice. So this is a real serious concern uh, that we have, uh, that we're going through here. So, let's now go to earthknollschool.net. So we are looking at earthknollschool.net, and we're going to look at a couple of other parameters across our planet right now uh, as we go and look at this. And the first thing we, we, we are going to do is, again, uh, look at the jet stream and uh, take a look at the wind speeds. I believe I have that set up right. So the jet streams are a mess, and this is all, again, because the Arctic is warming at a very rapid rate. So with um, the Arctic warming so quickly, the difference between the Arctic and the equator, which is over here, is less and less, which means the jet streams become weaker and more wavier and result in very unusual, very troublesome weather patterns across our planet. And uh, that is why we are seeing what we are seeing. Now, if we go to the ocean and we look at the sea surface temperature anomalies, this also means that the oceans are warming, and we have some really big anomalies. The one off the east coast is starting to get a little lower, uh, mainly because we have this channel of cold water coming down. This is because of all the ice melting up in the Arctic and off Greenland, uh, and it's melting very rapidly um, that we're seeing cold water come down and actually protect us and keep us a little cooler. But for large parts of the globe, it's not like this. And uh, take a look at this anomaly of very warm water here off the um, this is off Alaska in the Bering Sea we have anomalies of let's change that to Fahrenheit we have anomalies of 10 degrees Fahrenheit above normal for the ocean temperatures in this area alright much above normal and you can see there's a big blue anomaly here which means again more melting this is all glacial melt water that's coming either from glaciers or from the melting sea ice that's lowering the water temperatures in these areas here. Um, and if we go and we look at um, at uh, Europe, you'll see we also have huge anomalies here as well. 6.4 above normal. The Mediterranean is above normal. Uh, I think it's called the Bahrain Sea. This is a little above normal. Uh, and uh, these sea surface temperatures are ridiculous. So. Uh, let's actually look at the actual sea surface temperatures in these areas. Change that to Fahrenheit. All right. So look at that, 87 degrees sea surface temperature in um, in the sea of Bar. I think this is a, you have t sea surface temperatures 90 degree sea surface temperatures. Can you imagine a 90 degree sea surface temperature? So there will be a time when the te sea surface temperatures might get up as high as 95. And that is going to create extremely high dew points and make life very uncomfortable and perhaps not even survivable. People may not even be able to survive in these parts of the world anymore. Um, these sea surface temperatures are outrageous, and of course they can brew up monster storms. And look, we have even more higher sea surface temperatures over here. 88.5, this is off, I think, um, this is off Southeast Asia. 
All right, and um, looking at the Bering Sea where these anomalies are, we have water temperatures of 47, which is very warm for that area. And remember, we are just in June. We are just in June right now. So we have a long way to go. These three waters are going to get a lot hotter. So this is a big concern that we have. And even off Mexico, you have uh, the water temperatures here, 88, 89. Um, very warm water temperatures. Very concerning, but the ocean is absorbing a lot more heat because of all the extra carbon dioxide. The ocean is absorbing all of this, and it's causing the sea surface temperatures to rise. And this is a real problem, and this, this hurts the ice situation. So we're going to actually now look at satellite imagery, um, some high-resolution satellite imagery from today from NASA, from the Worldview site, uh, to show you... Um, that uh, this is the area here and it looks like these hot this hot weather is causing more look at that that is actually an area that's already been burned you can actually clearly see it on the worldview so the boreal forests are burning down because of the heat that's occurring in that area it's drying out the vegetation they're not used to that and we're seeing more of these fires and um, showing you uh, the Arctic here you can see a lot of melt water already here a lot of the ice is already gone Look at this. This is Greenland here. Look at all the ice that's already gone from this area. So these glaciers are retreating very fast. Look at that. You can see more bare ground over here. Uh, these glaciers are retreating very, very fast. And I want to look at Siberia as well. Looks like we have a lot of fires now starting here because, again, it's way hotter than it's supposed to be. Uh, literally, we are in a climate crisis. And here it is um, looks like some kind of cyclone over here. Um, and then let me look at that other one here. Um, this here. Uh, yeah, I should actually put all the layers on. So let's do that. We have this cyclone here. Uh, I think it's called a cyclone. And again, you'd see all the smoke. You got smoke from fires in Siberia now. So this is all going to help darken the ice and cause yet more melting. So a uh, real serious problem and the lack of urgency from the government, particularly in the United States, is appalling. Um, and, and the media is to blame, too. Everybody's to blame. Uh, you know, they don't want to talk about this. Uh, while literally the whole world is, is just being uh, thrown into chaos by this. So the last part of this video I'm going to talk about is the melt ponds. Uh, melt ponds, Arctic permafrost is now melting at levels not expected until 2090. So this is happening much faster. The climate is changing much faster. That's when I, when I talk about these predictions of sea level rise, especially for those who live on the south shore um, of Long Island. Right here. And uh, we'll come back on Long Island here. Uh, they say, oh, it will be 50 years. No, it's going to happen a lot quicker. It's going to happen a lot quicker. I'm telling you folks on the south shore, better prepare yourself for the next 10 to 20 years to start seeing the water coming into your towns um, because it's going to happen a lot quicker and of course we know all the investment goes down there because a certain demographic lives there even though that area is not feasible in the long term as these sea levels rise and they will start rising very quickly as we melt the ice and the ice is melting very fast all right um, so uh, that wraps up this climate uh, discussion update. Uh, this won't be something I'm going to do every day, maybe once a week, maybe a, a couple times a month. But we have to talk about the state of the climate. Um, oh, yeah, the last part of this climate uh, thing here, hold on a second, is the sea ice. So that's so uh, we'll leave it at here. We'll look at the sea ice um, uh, website uh, and uh, see uh, some news with that. So uh, the sea ice analysis is what we want to look at here. Uh, and uh, you will see here, warm May in the Arctic sets the stage. So May saw temperatures above average in nearly all of the Arctic Ocean, Baffin Bay and Greenland. Early sea ice retreat in the Bering Sea extended into the eastern Chukchi Sea. Northern Baffin Bay and the Naras Strait have low ice cover. By month's end, open water extended along the northeast Alaskan and northwestern Canadian coast is all well ahead of schedule. However, this was partially balanced by slower-than-average ice loss in the Barren Sea. At the end of May, Arctic sea ice stu extent stood at second lowest in the 40-year satellite record. 
So very troubling indeed. And let's look at the latest here. And the ice is melting very fast. And remember, sea ice reflects the sunlight. The less sea ice we have, the more heat gets absorbed in the Arctic and the warmer it gets. It creates a positive feedback cycle. And the sea ice melt doesn't really rise the sea level. It's the glaciers that will be affected. And this is where your sea level rise is going to come from, places like Greenland, Alaska. Um, this, uh, because now you have warmer water and no sea ice around it to stop the glaciers from flowing, those glaciers are going to melt and flow right under the ocean really quick. And that is going to cause the, the sea levels to rise very rapidly. So this is a real climate emergency, a climate crisis we are in. And people need to talk about it. And that's why I'm doing this new a series of videos that we're going to do this a couple times a month talking about how the globe is in crisis as the climate is rapidly changing. So I want to thank you for watching. Be sure you pressure your elected officials. And if you're a meteorologist at a TV station, you need to talk about it. I don't care if your bosses tell you not to talk about it. You need to talk about it. We all need to take a stand. The whole world is at risk of catastrophe right now due to this. So thank you for watching. Take care.